Hi guys, David Zibor, project leader of the Mesoise Figure Innovation Challenge. Uh, I'm now interviewing with uh, the Cosmos team, one of the finalists for the For Society category of our competition. So they're here with us to uh, uh, share some insights about their, uh, their idea. So hi guys. Hi. How are you today? Hi. Hi. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm doing great. Thank you. So um, yeah, just uh, wanted to uh, ask you so that the viewers can, uh, can know a bit more about your project and about the team. Uh, how did you guys met each other? And uh, basically, how, how, did I, uh, how the idea came to life? Um, hello, I'm Nadal and Nina and it's Tata. So we all met, we all went to, uh, to the same preparatory classes and then we went to the same engineering school at different majors. Um, uh, Iman and Kota already teamed up in a competition and it was a big competition. So when I heard about the, the competition, I asked Iman and she suggested that um, uh, we team up again with Kota. So that's how Cosmos was. And um, how about Cosmos? I mean, uh, what is it about? Can you uh, introduce it to the to the viewers again? Uh, in the quick words. Uh, Cosmos is about um, about solving a problem that is close to us that is, uh, is every day in our society and many other people do. Cosmos is about uh, developing an app which uh, uh, on which people can express their opinion and say how much they are dissatisfied with a certain service or a particular problem uh, resulting from corruption and that we can uh, involve companies and institutions to create an impact uh, according to All right then, and you guys are based in Morocco, right? So uh, you would like to uh, start the venture there first? We want to start small and think big. And uh, we want to advocate product after all over the world, but we should first uh, have our pilot trade. And uh, what if it should be on the project to have uh, a clear idea on the, on how it works, then we should advocate it. Okay, good. And um, how about, um, you know, the competition itself? Like, uh, how did you hear about it? Uh, was it online? Was it like uh, during an event? Um, for, it, there was a, a presentation in our school. Uh, the the mothers, uh, the the people from the Moroccan from the Moroccan uh, uh, mothers came to our school and presented the, the competition. And then they emailed us with the details and with the contest. So that's where, where we knew about the competition. Okay, and um. How about um, the biggest challenge that you uh, consider um, facing moving forward? What is the biggest challenge you, you will face for the implementation of your venture? Um, the biggest challenge that we are facing is to get people's uh, trust in us that, uh, for, as I said, we are both targeting both uh, the clients which are the citizens and the companies. So our biggest challenge is to convince those of them that we are trustworthy, that this app is going to work, that it does not everyone's problem uh, for both parties, and that it's not uh, uh, in favor of one or over the other. So uh, this is for now what, uh, what we are mostly working on, is to work on a convincing project that we can deliver to people. All right then. Thank you guys for uh, for sharing uh, some information about uh, about your business venture, about your idea. Uh, I wish you good luck for the rest of the competition. Thank you very much. Talk to you soon.